Hello everyone and welcome to our minute this week. Um, we're here today to talk about the late wrap situation and what you should be doing in order to request an exception to a late request for anticipated payment. So a couple of main reasons that you might encounter a late wrap, at least at this point, um, is due to a Medicare MAC claims processing issue, um, which I'm sure you have experienced multiple ones um, since January 1st, um, where there have been edits that weren't working, et cetera, and that caused your wrap to be late. Um, there's also the situation that has become uh, more prevalent than I think I would have thought it would be, and that is when an agency admits a patient that has been with another home health agency in the most recent 30-day period. Um, if an agency is admitting a patient that is overlapping a previous 30-day period, you will be required to use the 47 condition code as you always have been in order um, for that wrap to process as paid. Um, in addition, you would need to use the 47 condition code on the final claim. So what has been happening is agencies um, have not been finding um, the billing from the previous agency in the system. So not having any idea, this patient has been with another agency. Um, that being the case, they build their wrap in the five day timely filing window and it has gone to T status because of the overlap of a previous agency. That being the case, um, you're going to want to add that 47 condition code to the wrap so that it will process. And if it were late and you do have proof having printed or having at least screenshotted the eligibility verification information to show another agency was not in the home um, or was not at least in the system, meaning you, they had not billed for you to know that they were there. Um, then you would be granted the exception. So um, with the claims processing system with the Medicare MAC, um, you again um, would be able to request the exception. So when filing your final claim, not the wrap, but the final claim, you will include the KX modifier on the HIPS code line, but in the KX modifier or in the modifier box, you will include the KX modifier. In addition to that, you will need to, in the remarks section of the claim, um, explain why you are requesting exception, exactly what the circumstances were, et cetera. If you are in a situation where um, the detail remarks that you include does not give the Medicare MAC enough information to process your final claim cleanly um, and without penalty, um, they could request a non-medical ADR which means you would need to send in additional documentation to support the exception that you have requested. Um, once that's the, uh, that has um, been properly um, received and reviewed, um, you should be granted the exception. So do make sure um, that if you are overlapping a previous agency and there's evidence in the system that they have already billed, that you do include that 47 condition code on your wrap when you initially bill it so you won't have an issue with timely, if there is a Medicare claims processing issue, um, and also included in the exceptions are natural disasters and things of that um, circumstance. Um, regardless, um, if you're requesting an exception because of a late wrap, you will need to include the KX modifier in the modifier section um, when processing the final claim and make sure that you include in the remarks section enough information for the Medicare MAC to properly um, process um, your exception. Thank you so much for listening today. Um, hopefully we have helped um, with your processing of late wraps in the requesting of an exception with the final claims. Um, give us a call or send us an email if you need additional information or have additional questions. Um, also make sure to um, look at to your state home care associations um, for help and additional education that they might be providing. Thanks again, and I hope you have a great week.